What's up team? It's Coach Mike and Coach Danny and today we're going to be running you through a bodyweight boot camp. It's full of safe plyometrics, a bunch of fun exercises and if you're having a hard time doing any of these exercises we're going to be providing you with a bunch of regressions. Danny, you got any advice for any of the kids? Make sure we're breathing. If something's not working for you, just like dance it out, do something that feels good. Everything we're doing is just a suggestion today. Yep, so we'll have fun, we'll enjoy ourselves. So let's get to it. So the first thing we always have to do is warm up. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing, we're gonna reach our arms up into the sky and do something called an inchworm. So you're gonna walk your hands all the way out and then we're gonna go ahead and do a nice big cobra stretch. Nice big breath out. And then we're gonna walk all the way back up. This is great if you've been sitting down all day because it stretches out your hamstrings and that's something we need to always work on, right? Especially when we're sitting down, we're not engaging our legs and we always want to make sure we're nice and warmed up for all the exercises that we're going to be doing today. All the stretches we're doing are 40 seconds on and then five seconds off. After we're done with the inchworm, we're gonna be going into some jumping jacks to, getting our, to get our heart rate nice and high. If you can't do jumping jacks, we're gonna do a nice big side tap. We have three more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, so we're gonna be going ahead right into some jumping jacks. Once again, if you can't do jumping jacks, nice and easy side tap, right? We're trying to wake up our arms, wake up our legs. Keep them going, keep them going. If you wanna challenge yourself, right? Even though it's the warm up, you can speed it up a little bit or go slow, right? It's all about going at your own pace. Make sure your arms are all the way over your head. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no cheating the movement. You're only cheating yourself. Awesome job, awesome job. We have about five more seconds. Once we're done with this, we're gonna go into some nice big hip opener squats. In three, two, one. So you're gonna take a nice big side step a nice deep squat. We wanna make sure we open up those hips, just like your hamstrings, right? Use your legs and your hips for a lot of different movements. We wanna make sure we're nice and prepared for everything. So as you're going nice and low, keep your weight in your heels. As you can see here, Coach Danny, she makes sure that her weight is in her heels, because if you go on your toes, that puts a lot of stress on our knees, and we don't want that. Our knees are going nice and wide. Awesome job, Coach Danny, keep going. We got about five more seconds. And once we're done with that, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge, into a twist in three, two, one, awesome. So nice big reverse lunge, and you're gonna twist towards that front knee. So as you can see here, Coach Danny, she keeps her core nice and tight the whole time, rotates this way. We wanna make sure our lower body is nice and stable. While we keep this lower body nice and stable, we're able to rotate, engage that core. Great job, great job, Danny. And once we're done with these, as you're still doing these reverse lunges, we're gonna go into some easy mountain climbers in three, two, one, awesome. So while you guys are doing these, make sure your butt isn't swaying side to side. We're nice and easy, nice and engaged right here. Great job, Danny. As you can see here, Danny's back is nice and flat. She isn't forcing that knee nice and high, like nice and easy movement. Great job, Danny. And once we're done with the mountain climbers, we're gonna go into some shoulder taps in 10 seconds. As you can see here as well, Coach Danny's wrists are directly underneath her shoulders. You don't wanna lean too far forward. You don't wanna lean too far back. Ready, and shoulder taps. So when we're performing shoulder taps, we wanna make sure our bodies are nice and stable. We don't wanna rock our hips, because the whole point of performing shoulder taps is to keep our core nice and tight. Nice. Danny, how you feeling? I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already sweating during the warm up. This isn't good. <laughs> We're gonna be running through the warm up twice, because once again, warming up is the most important aspect of the workout. Oh, this isn't workout's good news. Workout's only as good as the warm-up. <laughs> exactly, workout's only as good as the warm-up. Awesome job, y'all. We have about three more seconds, and we're gonna walk our hands right back to our feet into those inchworms in three, two, one. Whew. There you go, nice big reach. Now that it's round two, I want everybody to speed up a little bit. But once again, you're going at your own speed. When you go and perform that cobra stretch at the end of the inchworm, Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those core muscles, and walk all the way up. Awesome job. Whew. 
Oh, that was like an accidental <laughs> high five. <laughs> if you have somebody next to you after your next intro, give them a high five. <laughs> awesome job. We got one more of these. And when we stand up right here, we're gonna go right into those jumping jacks. Go ahead. So now that it's round two, you wanna speed it up a bit. Just kidding, we're just starting. So it's easier to go at your own pace and pace yourself, right, than playing catch up and going really fast. So make sure you're going at your own pace. We good. Awesome job, awesome job. Remember, after these jumping jacks, Danny, keep going. We're gonna go into this reverse lunge and twist in three, two, one. Awesome. Make sure you get nice and low when you reverse lunge. Keep that core nice and tight. And with your breathing, as you can see, Coach Danny is breathing in when she goes down and breathing out as she twists. When you breathe out, you're engaging that core a little bit more and it makes it easier to stay balanced, right? We don't wanna be all side to side when we're doing this. Great job, y'all, great job. Once we're done with these, we're gonna go into those hip opener squats in three, two, one, so nice big step. And get nice and low when you're performing these. Awesome job. How we feeling, team? I'm already sweating like crazy. <laughs> Feeling warm. Exactly. Nothing's better though than moving your body, right, Danny? Oh. Oh, yeah, I haven't worked out today, so I'm happy to be here. You're happy to be here. Same here. Falling over though. Awesome job. We got two more warm-up exercises, <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to the next thing. Once we're done with this, we're going into those mountain climbers in three, two, one. Go ahead. Nice, quick transition. So during the workout, right, we have a bunch of exercises you're performing today. I want you to try your best to have quick transitions between exercises, unless you have a break. We'll be taking plenty of breaks today. We like breaks, right, Danny? Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome job, we got three more seconds, and then we're gonna go into those shoulder taps. Two, one, let's see it. So if you're having trouble staying balanced in the shoulder taps, you can put your legs nice and wide. You wanna go a little harder, put your feet a little closer to each other, and it'll be a little more difficult, not little, it will be more difficult to perform these shoulder taps. Danny, you ready to put them through the next circuit? Oh, I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> we got five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, warm up is over. So, on to the next one, guys. We're gonna be moving through a ladder sequence. So take a deep breath in, let it go, and I'm going to explain what we're doing next. So as I said, we're going to now go through a ladder sequence. What that means, guys, is we're going to be working through different rep ranges. We're going to be dropping reps each round. We're going to start off with 10 reps of jumping jacks. So we're very familiar with these movements, bringing them back from the warm-up. So we have 10 jumping jacks into 10 perfect push-ups. Coach Mike's going to show you how to do this. We're going to keep the hips in line with the shoulders here, the core engaged with your belly button to your spine. From there, let that chest come a little bit lower than those elbows here, and then press your way against the mat to push yourself back up. Modification, we can drop those knees. Just make sure that the hips stay in front of the knees here, as Coach Mike is showing us, to make sure we're getting that full body working, that full core engagement. Once we complete 10 of both movements, you're good, Mike. We're going to drop it down to eight reps of each movement, and then six, four, until we hit two reps of each movement, and then we're going to move on. So, team, we're going to start off with those 10 jumping jacks in three, two, and one. Here we go. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right from there, we're dropping down to that high plank. We have 10, nine. Remember, drop those knees if you need. Eight. Seven, six, five, last four, three, make sure we're breathing, two, and one. We're back up into those jacks. We have eight now. Seven, six, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Right back to those push ups. Remember, you don't have to keep up with us here. As long as we're still moving, we're at our own pace. We have six more. Six. I'm happy five, you know how to count because I always mess up. Three, two, one. We're going to get right back up, all right? Focus on that breath. We have six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have six push ups. We got this. Here we go. Deep breath in. We have six, five, four, Three, two, 
One, right back. Up. Taking it to oh, four man. now. We got it. Just four. Three, two, one. Four remember, push ups. We got this. And remember, there's Almost no there. shame in going on your knees. Yeah. My arms That's are four. tired. I can easily Three. do these, my legs straight, but I know my form will be compromised, right? There's no problem with doing them on your knees. We made it to our last one. We got just two. One. We're right back for two push ups. Here we go. Oh my God. Two. And one. Woo. Listen, Make grab some one. water real quick if you need it. Danny, good job. Yes. And we're gonna be moving on to our next full body circuit. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is a plyometric circuit. So plyometric means something explosive or jumping. If you can't jump, we're gonna be providing you with a bunch of modifications. But the first thing we'll be doing is a alternating lunge jump. So you'll be here, you can use your arms to jump up and swing or you can keep your arms like this or if you can't perform that nice and easy reverse lunges okay we're gonna be going for 45 seconds ready set and let's do it so remember if it's your first round and your legs are just really tired you can go ahead and crank out nice and perfect reverse lunges the crying is not us guys <laughs> My puppy, Jackson, who's here with us, supporting us through this workout. Shout out to Jackson. <laughs> if you have a dog at home, give him some love. Oh, little Jackson. <laughs> Jackson's trying to work out. Nothing better than a gym dog. That's it. Awesome job, y'all. Keep it going. We have like 10 Might seconds. Unmodified, that's all right. Awesome job. We got three, two, one. Great. All right, so now we're gonna incorporate our next exercise as something we did prior, right? So we're gonna turn it up a little bit. We have three mountain climbers on each side and then three push-ups. Ready, and let's get it. So it's one, two, three, and then we calm down. One, two, three. And we're just gonna repeat that for 45 seconds. Two, three, awesome. Engaging the lower body and the upper body in this circuit allows for a good sweat. How about y'all? My heart rate's up. Danny, what's your oh, heart yeah. rate at? Hi. Probably 160. <laughs> awesome job. And as you can see here, y'all, when Coach Danny's doing her mountain climbers and her push-ups, her body or her upper body is completely flat. She's not arching her lower back. She's making sure that that core is engaged the whole time. Remember, every movement comes from your core. So you wanna make sure you're always being aware of that. We have five more seconds. In three, two, one. And the last exercise in the circuit is something called a bear hold. So you wanna make sure your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders, your knees are directly underneath your hips, and all we're gonna do is lift those knees off the ground for 45 seconds. So ready, and go ahead. When you're performing this, make sure your butt isn't in the air, you're not leaning super far forward or super far back. We want to make sure that those wrists are directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath those hips. This looks pretty easy, but it's not. <laughs> not easy. <laughs> not easy at all. But make sure we're breathing. Engage that core, make sure you're breathing. If it does become difficult, feel free to put your knees down for one second, big breath, and then come right back up. We only have about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna be running through that whole circuit one more time before we take a water break. In three, two, one, amazing. Five second break, breathe in, breathe out. Coach Danny, how you feeling? Feeling good. Good, let's get it. So we got those jump lunges or the reverse lunges. Ready, and let's do it. So remember, when you're performing lunges, as you can see, we're creating these 90 degree angles in our knees. We wanna make sure that our lunges aren't very tight. We wanna make sure that it's not super far, right? Nice, easy step. As you can see, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Come right back up. Form is the number one thing when it comes to exercise. We always wanna make sure we're performing the exercise properly to minimize risk of injury. So if you feel like the plyo lunges, your form is being compromised as mine was starting to be, now I'm gonna modify and just regress down into reverse lunges. Exactly. We got three, two, one. Amazing, catch your breath. We have those mountain climbers into push-ups. Three mountain climbers each side, three push-ups. Ready, and let's get it. One, two, three, and if those push-ups are too easy, 
Let's see y'all do some clapping push-ups. But you don't have to. <laughs> Two, three, great job. Remember, you can do them on your knees. Make sure you're engaging the glutes, engaging the core. Danny, I'm feeling it, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one's a good one. Listen, just because we're trainers does not mean that we're superheroes. <laughs> Every class, I'm like, dang, this workout's hard. <laughs> I'm like, you guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're doing this better than I am. Three, two, last one. Amazing. And now we have that bear hole before we grab water. Anybody can do anything for 45 seconds, so let's get it. Let's do it, Danny. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, and hold. This one's a full body burn. I really feel it in those quads with this as well. I think this is a little bit more challenging than just a high plank. Taking those knees below the hips really allows that low core to fire up and really get into your legs as well. It's really interesting too. Danny mentioned she feels it in her quads more. I feel it in my shoulders more, right? Oh, I feel it in my shoulders too. Just because we're performing the same exercise doesn't mean it has the same effect on everybody, right. right? Everybody's body is different. We got 10 more seconds. You got it, Coach Mike. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Great Warm up's job. over. Just kidding, that was part of the workout. <laughs> Grab a quick sip of water, catch your breath, we're gonna continue on with our next circuit. All right, team, so we're done with our break. Hope you grabbed some water, hope you caught your breath. Now we're ready, rejuvenated to get into our next circuit. So this first exercise of this third circuit, we're gonna start off with a squat to a squat jump. So we have one squat into that squat jump. Make sure, like Coach Mike said earlier, we're back on those heels. The knees are tracking outwards. Your chest is up just so we can see the logo on your shirt and your back is nice and flat. That timer is gonna get going in three, two, one. So we have that squat. So I squat and jump as I just demonstrated. If that jump is too much for us today, let's add a calf raise and come off oh, of those yeah. heels. Really get into that calf, which are the muscles that are really gonna help us with that jump. So again, team, we got that squat. Squat, jump, we're about 15 seconds in. We got about 30 or less seconds to go. Good, make sure we're breathing here. A good way to breathe is inhale down. Exhale as you explode up. Let's keep this going. Good, Danny. we got about 15 seconds. You sure we got 15 seconds? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, now we got less than 10. Here we go. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Next up, we have a unilateral movement. Unilateral means we're working on one side of the body. So first, we have a single leg deadlift. I'm keeping a slight bend in my knee here. My hips are level off. And as if I'm putting a paint streak on the, the wall behind me, my leg is staying nice and neutral. Once we complete that, we're stepping out to a lateral lunge, bringing that hip back towards the heel. So here we go, team. We have 40 seconds in three, two, one. We have single leg deadlift, step out, lateral lunge. Right back on that same side. Single leg deadlift, out to that lateral lunge. If you notice you're losing balance here, check in with your knee. Make sure you have a slight bend in that knee. Make sure you're grounding down through all four corners of that foot. Let's add that knee drive as we come through center as well. And we're burning out that one side. We'll switch and give that other side some love on that next round. You're more than halfway there already. Let's go. And listen, y'all, as you can see, we're professionals and we're having a hard time balancing. So if you're falling a bunch, it's okay. Right? We're practicing our stability. Right. We're and practicing. Remember, yeah. We don't need to touch the ground here. We could just come right to that knee. Well, just give me one more rep. We got five, four, three, two, last one here, and one. Awesome job. All right, let's get into that core. Show the core some love. Remember, that's where every movement begins and ends. So let's give that core some love. We have straight arm sit-ups. So team, let's take those arms overhead. We got fingertips reaching here, and we're gonna sit up and reach for the ceiling. You can gain a little momentum from those arms. If that's not for you today, then let's just take some old school crunches. Timer's going in three, two, one. Old school crunches team look like this. So let's keep those feet down and just try to keep the chin to the chest and lift your head, neck, and shoulders off of the ground. Mike showing us some perfect straight arm sit-ups here. Let's join them. We got about 30 seconds left. And remember, when we're talking about breathing, you wanna line up your breathing with the movement. So breathe in on the easy part, and right now, right before we get up, breath out. Good. Right? 
All right, we're more than halfway there, just about 15 seconds left. Really try to drive your heels into the ground. If you feel like your feet are lifting and you're by a couch, maybe try to wedge your toes under that couch for a little bit of assistance. Oh, that's a great tip, Coach Danny. I didn't even know that. That's a good one. You just got five, four, three, last one, two, and one. Awesome job. We're moving on to round two. So again, guys, we're starting off with that squat to squat jump. So let's start to sink into that range of motion. We're on in five, four, let's go team. Three, two, one. Remember that regression. We have the squat to that calf raise if that jump's not for you today. If you want to try it, let's go. Try to get some air. Maybe each jump you try to get a little higher. Let's see if you can jump higher than Coach Mike. Go! That's it. Let's go. Woo! I've been Good. Dunk since eighth grade because of these types of exercises. That's it. If you want to dunk, you better do these. <laughs> Make sure we're using those arms. That's going to help us get some air here, gain some momentum. Good. You're halfway there. Oh, that ain't Woo! <laughs> oh, it's halfway. <laughs> Long as 40 seconds anyway. Let's go. We got 15 I seconds. I don't actually know how to count, but. <laughs> I use my fingers. Uh, let's go. We have 10 seconds. Woo! Couple more reps. Let's go. Five. Four, three, two, and one. We are done with that movement. So guys, you got a 50-50 chance here with which leg you are using if you don't remember. So let's <laughs> switch to that opposite side. We have that single-legged deadlift, stepping out to that lateral lunge, all right? Try to keep that opposite leg straight. We're on in three, two, one. Here we go. Inhale, try not to fall, we both fell. And exhale, we're stepping out, right back through center. Here we go. Good, ground down through all four corners of that foot. Keep that slight bend in the knee. Find that glute to ankle connection. This is your posterior chain, guys. We're really trying to find that connection between the whole back of our leg. That's what's gonna help us find that stability. Your glutes are one of the biggest muscles in our body, so let's really use that to our advantage here and use it to stabilize. More than halfway there, let's go. What's the greatest thing to think about when you're doing these side lunges is imagine you're in a box. Yeah. And you want to push that butt, not just to the side, but to that side corner. Mm -hmm. So sit that butt nice and far back, or if you're trying to push it to that side corner, you're going to be able to engage those inner and Ooh. outer leg muscles a lot better. Last rep here. Use that yoga mat as that box. And we're up. We're done with that movement. Awesome job, guys. We have one rep or one set left here. One exercise left. It's a straight arm crunch. And we have that old school crunch for that modification. We're on in five. Let's go. Three, two, one. We're making our way all the way up. Use those abs. As you come down, team, try to think about rolling your way down. So we're keeping the tension in that core. You'd rather land with more of a rounding in that spine than an arch here because then we're gonna get into that low back. Let's really try to stay tucked, ribs in, and keep that tension in the core. Whew, we're halfway through. Remember, with the proper core engagement, every exercise should be a core exercise. Right. But there's nothing wrong with isolating your core because if we have a strong core, all of our other movements are going to be a lot better because we're going to be much more stable. We're going to be able to engage your upper and lower body together. That's fine. It's important to do that core work. Do one more. Three, two, and rest. Woo. Awesome job, team. That's it for that third circuit. Coach Mike's gonna lead us to the next. All right, if you need water right now, feel free to grab water while we explain what's next. So our next circuit, we're gonna be right here. We have tap squats. So a tap squat is a nice fun plyometric where you're here, together, you're gonna jump down, tap the ground, pop back up, and switch. Full speed would be like this, and if you wanna go really fast, right, just go fast. If you can't do that, feel free to just get a nice big side step and just all the inside. There's no problems progressing the movement. It's you versus you. Okay? Let's do this tap squats. We're gonna go 10 reps. So five each arm. Ready? Set. Let's do it. As you can see here, Coach Danny keeps that chest nice and proud. Awesome job, Coach Danny. Awesome job. You know what number we're on? This is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing any more than we need to. <laughs> We're going to go into five inch worms into push ups. So, we're incorporating that warm up. Now, we're going to make that exercise a little difficult, a little bit more difficult. So, we're going to go ahead, walk those hands down, and every time you come down, crank out a perfect push up and then come right back. Make sure when you're performing these, don't arch that back. So, that core is nice and tight. We're here. 
Big breaths out as you leave the ground. Walk your hands all the way back. Amazing. And if you can't touch your toes, when you do the inchworm, feel free to, as you can see, bend your knees a little bit at the end of the range of motion. Awesome job, Coach Danny. Keep going. More tight. Amazing job. And we have one more. I think. Maybe yes. Six, maybe it's seven. Guess what? <laughs> And last up, we have a lunge hold. So we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. So everybody start out with your knee on the ground. And like I was mentioning before when we were doing those lunges, you wanna have 90 degrees everywhere. So 90 degrees, 90 degrees. All we're gonna do, make sure abs are nice and tight, squeeze that glute, and we're just gonna lift that knee about an inch or two off the ground for 20 seconds. Ready? And let's do it. So we're here. A few things you gotta think about. Make sure you're not driving that front knee forward too much. You're not straightening this back leg. We're here, core nice and tight. Start shaking, I'm shaking right now. This is difficult, this is easy or hard? This is not easy. <laughs> we got three, two, one. Nice and easy tap. Switch legs, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ready? Three, two, one. Something I have a hard time with personally is my hips. So sometimes my hip that I'm work on the leg that I'm working on will come up. So try to be conscious of that. Make sure the hips are nice and level here so that opposite non-working back leg is in line with the front leg. Ooh, we got three, two, one. Ooh. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna be running through the circuit one more time. Minimal break, we just got a water break. So let's get it. We got our 10 tap squats. Ready, set, let's do it. Very important for your ankle health, for your joint health to be able to jump. Right? We want to teach our body in a controlled manner how to perform these exercises, especially if you play sports or if you just enjoy sports by themselves. You want to make sure, oh, it's 10. <laughs> we got the inch for push ups. You want to make sure you perform all these types of movements because remember, strong body, less likely to get injured. We don't want to be sidelined. We want to be able to have a body that's prepared. So, whatever exercise we're about to do. We're starters over here. Yeah, we're starters. <laughs> well, all that truly matters, right? If you play sports or not, we're not being healthy. Amen. Gotta make sure you pull your body dance. This is for four to five. This is four. Oh, that is five. <laughs> nope, we got one more. Here we go. Let's go all the way out and all the way back. Amazing. Cool. Remember, like I said, beginning of the workout, quick transition. All right. Lunch hold, 20 seconds. Ready? Three. Two, one. So, we're gonna perform this lunge on this side. We're gonna do a lunge on the other side. We have one little finisher exercise. And then Coach Danny's gonna put us through a nice easy cool down. Three, two, one. Woo! Last one, girls. Last Let's one, it. let's go. Ready and Perform an exercise, it should be fun, right? You can do whatever, you can do the YMCA, do whatever, you keep yourself distracted, play patty cake. I like the Macarena. Yeah, play patty cake with Whoever's next to you. <laughs> Let's slide. <laughs> slide. That showed our age. <laughs> <laughs> we got three, two, one. Done. Right, last thing we're doing, we have foot fires. So if you don't know what foot fires are, you're going to be in a nice, easy, or nice, good athletic position, nice and low. And we're going to pretend that the, uh, your feet are on fire, right? So as you can see, she's moving quick. You want to be in a nice athletic position, so nice and short, nice and low. We're going to perform that for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's do this. We're gonna perform foot fires. Today's your day. Today's your day. <laughs> You're like, what the heck is this? If you don't know Mike, one fun fact, Mike loves foot fires. I actually, yeah, I do. <laughs> Love it. Great relationship. Yeah. Woo, they're good for you. Last thing, almost done. We got 10, 9, speed up. 8, 7, 6, 5 and a half, 5, 4, 3 and a half, 2, uh, 1. Uh, Done. Okay. Amazing job. Awesome team. Let's cool it down. Just as important as our warm up, we want to make sure that heart rate comes down. So together, let's take one deep breath in, take your arms overhead, and we have one more inchworm. So let's walk ourselves out to that plank. Don't worry, we're not doing a push up. Let's take the right foot outside the right hand. Keep your left hand down here. We can either drop the knee or keep it up. We're just going to reach the right arm up. Exhale three times. We're going to take the elbow towards the ground. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Jackson wants in on the next workout, I think. Last one. Inhale up. He does. Down dog. 
and we're gonna switch legs. So you can take the right leg back, just take that left foot, same thing, outside the left hand. Knee can stay up or down. We're gonna inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, elbow towards the floor. If you're not there today, that's fine. Let's just try to get the elbow as close to the inside of that foot as we can. One more. Take it down. Let's just meet in a tabletop. So team, that's that bear hold position, but our knees are down this time. So knees below the hips, shoulders above the wrists. Roll your shoulders back, drop your belly, lift your head, lift your tailbone. Exhale, push the ground away, round through your spine, separate the shoulder blades, tuck your chin to your chest. You have two more. Inhale, arch your back, lift your head. Exhale, round through your spine. The best stretches for One more. Levels. Agreed. And exhale, last rounding through the spine. Meet in that neutral table. We're gonna thread the needle. So same rotation, we'll take the right fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, we'll thread the needle. Take the right arm underneath the left. You're gonna relax your head, relax your shoulder, reach the left arm forward. Take a deep breath in here, relaxing that right shoulder towards the floor. And then you'll press through your left hand to lift yourself up. Take a couple arm circles back on the right shoulder. And we're just gonna switch sides here. So right hand down, inhale the left arm up this time. Exhale, thread the needle. Take the left shoulder down, relax your head, reach the right arm forward. Couple deep breaths here, send it to that left shoulder here, give it some love. And we'll press ourselves back up, rotate that left arm back a couple times for those circles. And last thing here, the best pose in the world, child's pose. Bring your toes together, knees apart, hips back to the heels. Really let the chest relax towards the floor. You can relax your forehead down here. Really feel your hips and your lower back open and just let your heart rate come down. You can hang out here for as long as you want. You might fall asleep. Give yourself some gratitude for pushing yourself through this workout. It wasn't easy. And just remember, all you need is your body. We don't need to go to any fancy gym here. We just did that with just our body. So the world is your gym and your potential is endless. So let's get it, team. Team, amazing job today. For Danny, great job. Um, and be ready for the next workout coming soon. Woo. Have a wonderful day, y'all. Let's get it. Have a great day. Take care.